Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine, and in today's Inkscape video are some more path options, and this will be division and cut path. So I have a star and a circle that I created through Inkscape on here on the left-hand side of the toolbar. As you can see, there are different shape options you can create, so I just created those to show you an example. So if I want to cut into this circle with the overlapping portion of the star in here, which I can move around wherever I want to, uh, but let's just say I wanna make a little Pac-Man uh, icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this star overlapping with the circle. I'm gonna select both at the same time. Then I'm gonna go up to path and select division. So now if you can see the portion of, well, the star is now gone, but the circle is selected and there's a little portion inside the circle of where that star intersected into the circle. So I'm just gonna click off of it and I'm gonna go ahead and drag my mouse and select the area that it should have cut into. And again, that little piece is selected. So I'm gonna backspace or delete it. And as you can see, it perfectly made that shape that I wanted to, and it is ready to go. Now, if you wanted to cut the path, meaning I'm gonna put a no fill color on this so you could see inside. So as you can see, it's all connected, it's all one piece. But if you wanted to make that this piece disconnected, I'm going to go back and redo this. So I'm going to select these two objects again, and I'm going to go up to path and cut path. So now it just cuts the path that where the star intersected with the circle. So at the two points where it went into the circle. So I'm going to select that piece where it was intersected, and I'm going to backspace or delete. So that means it cut the path of the circle. So there's, uh, it's not connected anymore. So if you need to do that for a certain project, it's good to know. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you need some more helpful tips and ideas, please feel free to join our new Facebook group called Students of the Forge. That's in the description box below. And if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code that's listed in the description box below as well on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which my family and I always appreciate. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.